Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourselves, being gentle with yourselves as well as being patient. Because I know these days can be annoying. So, you know, be patient with yourself. Better days are coming. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is just giving you good vibes and good information that you know a fellow empath needs to hear right now at this moment, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. Also, share on your sh social media favorites, wherever you see fit. I don't know why I got tongue-tied on that. <laughs> but anyways, today I'm listening to uh, the peaceful uh, three hours of soothing flute meditation music. Peaceful music to relax mind and body. Common sleep music as well so i would be posting that link in the description box below norman i hope these uh the recent videos you are watching um you know the the meditation i try to pick meditation is not going to like vibrate my computer um you know where it goes to uh comes through the microphone because you know even though they might sound peaceful to me when it comes towards the you know gravitate towards the microphone it can't get kind of buzzy or you know annoying or whatever so i do apologize on that you know i say i love it when y'all give me your opinions or whatever i mean as long as you know as long as the message is you you know you're you're bringing out a positive message it's not a, not being provoking you know i love uh corrective criticism i try to make sure that i get you know the meditations that you you know your heart and well as your mind can go ahead and allow because i know some of the vibration uh can get conflicting you know towards you know you trying to watch the video so i do apologize on that but you are also watching some of my old videos because i noticed you had watched a lot of my old videos that i did so i try to be very cautious about what certain you know meditations i use for my videos nowadays but thank you for the insight um today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Ocus, calm your mind he head towards the happiness you deserve we need to you know because our mind like i you know the first video i put out this morning our mind could be our best friend or our worst enemy it just depends on what you know what your thought process is because it's just like you know like i've told you we have all went through things um we are all still trying to heal we're learning as we go we're all work in progress you know nobody's perfect and you know um you know it takes a day-by-day -day process to do that because trust me I was at that point too you know people that knows that I was this been on one-on-ones with me knows I've hit rock bottom nobody's perfect nobody's perfect but we all deserve happiness you know you should not stay in that dark side don't let the things that has you know happened to you take control of your mind take control of your thought process because it can keep you from your happiness it really can um Trying to think more positive things out throughout your day. Try to, uh, you know, get out in nature. Because there's a lot of times I used to stick, stay sticking up in the house. Getting cabin fever, driving myself crazy. Nowadays, I go for nature walks, clear my mind. You know, look at the, you know, the squirrels, the birds, the trees. You know, the beautiful flowers. Because where I'm at, it's like 70 some degrees. So that is a blessing within itself, especially in February. Because I'm just like, I go outside and it's all confusing to me. I'm like, this world... This What's up with this weather? It's bipolar. It's I don't know what. You can look at it. It looks cold. And you step outside like, what the? Okay. <laughs> you know, but I, I'm, I'm blessed about that because that lets me be able to walk. And, you know, I do that for a couple of hours and stuff like that. And I really enjoy that. You know, um, getting out of your comfort zone is really hard to do at times. But you have to push yourself to do that. You have to be your own motivator. You have to be your own cheerleader at times. Even if you don't have nobody cheering you on, you got to be able to do that for yourself. And I always tell people, don't always base, don't ever base your validation, your happiness to validate from somebody else. You, be, you should be able to do that on your own. You know, it takes, it takes time. 
everybody's like I said everybody's a work in progress don't be hard on yourself be very gentle I know it can be annoying at times you're like why can't I stop thinking about this or why can I stop feeling about this when it's when your fears or things that have hurt you keeps coming to the forefront obviously it's trying to come to your attention hey you need to heal from this it's not for you to keep dwelling on and keep trying to analyze it because when you do that you're putting power into a past uh, situation which is the past but it's like the more you consume your energy on towards things that have hurt you the more you're bringing towards negative you know energy towards your way I, I know there's times there that even though my dad's with me there's I mean there's situations that come to the forefront about you know what my family did to me about times I had missed opportunities on seeing my dad I mean that's hurtful it really is because it, it, it's just like like I tell anybody, you know, missing a loved one that has passed on is really hard. But with when there are celebrities, it's a whole different ball game because it's just like, um, not to say one is greater than the other one, but it's just like when you have a loved one that is not in the limelight, that, you know, constantly being talked about or, you know, constantly seeing pictures all over the place. That gives you that time to process the heal knowing every day. You know it can get better and better and better but it takes a lot of strength to deal with somebody who my dad's well known very you know a celebrity where there's times where uh people have invited me to you know listening parties to watch videos and stuff like that i just can't do that you know i can't keep dwelling on that you know even though there are fans of my dad and i appreciate that because the love they they have for my dad and they keep posting things let me know that they love him you know that's a healing process and i think that helps me every day but i can't engage on that when i want to be able to watch his videos i go on my personal time i can't do that with everybody else and i know people think i'm stuck up for doing that but no you know if you're going through a healing process it's already hard if you love my dad as a fan uh, which I don't like saying fan because he doesn't even like that either because the same fanatic. But as somebody who, who loves my dad, loves his music, you know, if you keep pushing out his music, you keep, you know, representing his pictures, that lets me know that my dad's very well loved by that person. But when it comes to me, it's a totally different story because this is my family. This is my dad. So it's, you know, it's a healing process I have to go through. But knowing my dad is always there with me in spirit, you know, always cheering me on saying, you know, I'm so proud of you. You're, you know, you're doing this. You know, I can't keep on thinking about, you know, these people who, who are held responsible um, for my dad not being here anymore. Because I feel like my dad's life was very, you know, cut very short. He was 57 years old when he died. Life still, I mean, he moved around like he was, you know, even though he had problems with his hip, he still moved around like he was 30 some years old. You know, that's the life that he, the vibration he put out. It was very powerful. But, you know, my dad would never want me to sit up here and dwell on things like that. I try not to remember my dad like that. Um, I try to cherish the times that, you know, me and him did connect, whether it, if it was in dreams or just conversations over the phone or even thought process when we sit up here and conversate now. It is very funny um, because we dwell on, we don't dwell on things that are sad, but, you know, we, we always give each other that positive vibe that, you know, things are getting better. There's things that we can't, we don't understand right now, but, you know, the universe is bringing something, you know, to the forefront and I know that, but you know, I know I deserve happiness. I know, you know, that's what my dad would want for me. He doesn't want me dwelling off of things that I can't change. You, you know, nobody wants you dwelling off of things you can't change. Unless they're in that negative mindset. If there's somebody in that negative mindset, that's when you need to, you know, exit them out your life. Sometimes it's hard because of certain positions you're in. I understand that. I'm in my own situation. But it's all what you put your energy in. It's all what you what you pay attention, close attention to. You, you cannot allow yourself to keep dwelling off of things that are not making you happy you know you need to go towards things that you know that can improve you you know because when you dwell off of things that that saddens you angers you confuse you that gives you illnesses that you shouldn't have you know that brings on strokes heart attacks you know those things are not healthy you know it can drive you crazy you know you it's just like when you know that you're in a situation and you're trying so desperately to get out of it you need to work on that you need to, if, if it's for you to get a notebook and put down every positive thing instead of dwelling on the negative, the cons, you know, look at all the pros that you got going on for yourself. Even if you, you, you got to put a state of mind like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. That's what you need to do. 
especially if it's to get you out of the situation you're in. You know, so many of us have gone through things that has really broke us down in every single way. And, you know, I pray for anybody who's going through that. Trust me, I know. I really do. But I have to look at it like, you know what, I can't change. These are things that I can't change. We can't change the past. If we could, trust and believe, everybody would change their past. But I'm glad certain situations came about because it brought about positive change for me. Um, knowing that better days are coming, you know, I don't understand, I don't understand and know what God has for me, gifted for me, but I keep praying, you know, give me patience and strength towards this road that I don't know where it's headed, but just to know I'm going to do my part to push about that positive change, and that's what you need to do as well, you know, you, you deserve happiness, everybody deserves happiness, you know, you shouldn't validate your happiness, you know, for you to be feeling sad or inadequate just to make somebody have that happiness because that's not based on happiness that's that's you know that's control you know and some people will do that you know with us empaths we have narcissistic people in our lives uh we have picked even though you know it, it, even as crazy in our past life we picked the folks that we're dealing with now and you know for you to be in a hellish situation know that you were must have been a, a great badass back in the day for you to pick the people that you picked and i try to tell people that you you don't understand the strength you have until you look at the situation you're in you know when you you have picked people that has really that can really bring you down in so many different ways obviously you must have been somebody powerful to know hey i want to you know stick this out with this situation because I know this family needs to change and I know I need to change because I wasn't able to get it right in the last four or five lifetimes this is the time I supposed to do that and it is it's for everybody this is the time for the karmatic curses to stop the generational curses are going to cease and desist and you know you're going to go about it a whole new different way just like with me and my father we might not have gotten it right last life I was pushed off a building somebody drowned me you know somebody killed him you know it's just really crazy things because I remember this and you know being in my dad's life as being his mother being his sister at one time being his best friend and being his wife I mean we, we played all these different parts in our lives and it's crazy but it's a blessing to me to be able to remember how we were contracted for that many times that I still remember those times so it, it's just like when I know I don't know what this time is going to bring, but I know it's going to bring something huge. It's bringing towards something huge for everybody's life. And you're working so hard. You know, you're trying to put sense in the things that you're doing now. But you, I mean, just put that positivity in your life. Speak it into existence. Go ahead and while you're speaking it into existence, go ahead and do your part. You know, when you, when you trust and believe in things, especially if you can't see it, and you just keep on that mind, positive mind frame, which it can be hard at times because things will get thrown in your situation for you to get thrown off track and you got to jump back on track just for you not allow the darkness to go ahead and consume what you're trying to do so go ahead and keep pushing out towards what you're trying to push out and head towards the goals that you're trying to manifest and keep going and do you you know because you deserve happiness so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video sending out much beloved love and positivity and happiness towards your way because you truly deserve it you've been working your butt off even though there are some times where you know people take that for granted you know you're doing that positivity so don't worry about what everybody else is doing just do you so uh much love to norman miss mickey you almost had me crying uh, with your little comments today so god bless you uh michelle olsen drastic marks i hope you all y'all have a blessed day and many blessings and love towards your way. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Like and subscribe. Drop the line. And, you know, share the video wherever you see fit. Holla.